Johan and Ross released a video a little less than a month ago purporting to debunk eternal universe models and therefore show the universe is not eternal, but his attempt to do so failed for three reasons. The first reason is that Mr. Ross did not refute the proof I gave that shows the universe is eternal. You cannot defeat or refute someone's proof or arguments by ignoring it and asserting your own, unless you show how your argument or evidence supersedes or contradicts their evidence, proof, or argument. That would be like me claiming I defeated the argument from contingency's conclusion by ignoring the argument from contingency and asserting my own argument instead. That fails. The second reason why Mr. Ross failed to prove the universe is not eternal is because what he uses to prove the universe is not eternal, the holographic principle, is speculation and not proven science as of now. If the holographic principle is a scientific fact, I am open to and entreat Mr. Ross to provide evidence that it is a fact. Until he does so, he cannot use a speculative conjecture as if it were a fact to debunk the universe's eternality. The third reason why Mr. Ross failed to prove the universe is not eternal is because the holographic principle has nothing to do with proving the universe had an absolute beginning. The holographic principle is basically a mathematical principle which entails a notion that relevant degrees of freedom involving gravitation are embedded on a surface rather than in a volume. And Mr. Ross is combining the holographic principle with the second law of thermodynamics also has nothing to do with showing that the universe had an absolute beginning because his claim that space and time decisively vanish from existence after projecting backwards to a certain convergence point is assumed rather than proven. He simply asserts that space and time vanishes since nothing about the holographic principle or the second law of thermodynamics gives him that. Indeed, if you have a two-dimensional space, that's still space. Even if I were to grant him the notion that space-time vanishes at a certain point, that still does not prove the universe is not eternal until he shows how the holographic principle makes all energy vanish, since if you still have energy, you still have the universe, since the universe, at the very least, is all of space, time, matter, and energy. Mr. Ross needs to show how the holographic principle, in combination with the second law of thermodynamics, terminates all energy including virtual particles and virtual particle production. Until then, Mr. Ross failed to show that the universe is not eternal.